Well, now that you know what a reference angle is, it's really important to be able to find that reference angle just like, boom, in a jiffy. Okay, so that's the whole point behind this little podcast is to practice finding that reference angle. When do you subtract from 180? When do you subtract from 360? When do you add? Ah, okay, so hopefully this helps you out. Okay, here we go. Let's start. Let's start with A. 153 degrees. Again, I'm giving you some grids here. Just throw it up there. You know that 153 degrees is somewhere out in this quadrant. Why? Well, because that's 180 degrees and you haven't passed it yet. So all you basically have to do is go, okay, here's 180 degrees. I am missing this portion. So if you're missing it, subtract out 153 degrees and see what you get. You end up with 27 degrees. So guess what? There's your reference angle, 27 degrees. And you know the cool thing is, is you're actually going to refer to this eventually as theta r. R standing for, guess what? Reference. Yes, you got it. Okay, let's take a look at B over here. Watch this one, same idea. Again, draw it out. You know that this is from here to here is 90 degrees. You know this is 180, you know that this is 270, right? You know that it's gonna be a little bit past this at 294, okay? Question is, how much past it? Well, that's where you use this angle again. That's when you look at your 360 degrees. Notice this one you use the 360 back here you use the 180 why always pick the angle that it's closest to if you're in this quadrant this quadrant it's 180 if you're in this quadrant you're going to pick 360 that's all there is to it so okay take the 360 degrees find what's missing what's missing is determined very easily by subtracting it take the 294 off there you take the 294 off there you find out that this is 66 degrees and that's your theta reference theta r Pretty cool, easy, you betcha. Let's go to this next one, let's go to C. C is over here, this is a trick question. See if you can figure it out. Yeah, it's right here. 81 degrees is 81 degrees, guess what? The angle in standard position is also your reference angle. Because remember, all of these angles is all about what? It's about this x-axis. Everything is about the x-axis. This one just happens to have the same reference angle as, guess what? It's angle and standard position. That only happens in quadrant one. It's kind of neat. Okay, let's go. Last one, and then we'll go on to something else. Here we go. 221 degrees. Where's 221? Again, there's 90. There's 180. 221 is probably somewhere out here. 221 degrees is somewhere around there. Okay, so you're dealing with, guess what? You're dealing with 180 degrees now. So, okay. 221 minus the 180 degrees works out to be 41 degrees. There's your reference angle. Theta reference is 41 degrees. Now, what is it about these reference angles that are so darn important? I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to give you a little bit of a secret. Here we go. Ready? Because every single one of these is going to make a right angle triangle. Do you see it? There's another right angle triangle. Here's another right angle triangle. Here's another right angle triangle. And here's another right angle triangle. Isn't that interesting? It's all about the reference angles. That's what we're going to eventually get to. Stay tuned. <laughs>